Two, two last questions. Yeah, we, of course. I'm sure that we got to catch a flight. I'm just curious. I'm eerily curious. You guys don't know this. Adam doesn't own a car. <laughs> Uber's, Uber's everywhere. Everywhere. Uber's everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. How much money? I'm you Ubering out of here in five <laughs> minutes. <laughs> How much money do you think you've saved by by Ubering? Oh, dude. And not having a car payment, car insurance. So gas. I'll give you like the realistic number, but then also like the like um, worst case scenario or best case scenario yeah. number. I haven't had a car. It's actually a crazy story. It's 2011. My, I, had a, I always wanted a Mercedes. I bought a Mercedes off my buddy in 2010. I said, I need the car to last two years. It had 100,000 miles on it. It was one of my best friends, my college roommate. I always liked this car. He goes, I'll give you a sick deal on it. I go, I need this to last two years. Because I knew it had 100,000 miles. One year it breaks down. I'm like, you sold me a lemon, bro. <laughs> that year... My, one of my best friends was that guy, Chris Humphreys. He married Kim, Kim, Kim Kardashian. Kardashian. I was a groomsman in the wedding. Really? No kidding. I've, I've so relitigated this story a million times. I'll save you that whole thing. Um, and I had to basically spend the whole summer in L.A. like literally being a Kardashian. So my car broke down. I just was like so over it. I didn't need a car when I was in L.A. I was getting chauffeured around. So I sold my car. When I came back to Miami, I said, how long can I go without buying a car. How long can I go? It's now 2022, it's been 11 years, I haven't had a car. I was living in downtown Miami, you, you know, you can Uber, you can, this is probably even pre-Uber 2011, I was taking little smart cars around, all that stuff. So the average American spends about all in, all in about 10 grand a year on car, okay? Mm -hmm. um, so that's 100 grand or so over the last- 10 years. 10 years, but don't forget like, I've been in the nightlife business. I got a bar in South Beach. I party. There's a good chance in the last 10 years I would have gotten a DUI. <laughs> There's just a good chance. Very good chance. I don't recommend it. Yeah, I don't yeah. think you should drink and drive. Yeah. Yeah. But South Beach, party, yeah. young guy, bachelor. Bad mix. So what does that cost? What's the, what's the time opportunity, time value of money on? Yeah. It's going to cost you 10, 20 grand yeah. to deal with. That's Whatever your, that is. That's your risk assessment. Yeah. Risk assessment. Yeah, yeah. Plus, like, I mean, go down yeah. everything with anything to do with a car, breakdown, accidents, DUI, all that. So, I don't know, somewhere between probably 100 and 200 grand I've saved. And I've taken all that money. I've saved that. I pumped that into nice. all my accounts, my yeah. index funds, yeah. you know, Bitcoin, whatever. Yeah. And, you know, it's turned, made me a millionaire. I'm not a sure. faith-made millionaire. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, but a, you're a millionaire. I'm a no car uh, <laughs> payment millionaire. Um, but I think ultimately, like, what's the message there is that everybody has the same big three expenses in their life to kind of give sure. this full circle. You got your housing, you got your transportation, and you got your food and beverage. Everyone has that. You got to live somewhere, you got to get around, you got to eat and drink some things. Yeah. And if you can find a way to limit or eliminate one of those big three expenses, you're going to get ahead. So whether it's living at home for a little while, yeah. whether it's not having a car, whether that's not being a foodie and cooking mm -hmm. from home, whatever you can do, like all my boys own clubs, I own a bar and sell, like I've saved literally millions over the last 20 years partying in South Beach without having to buy bottles and drinks. How much is that up, sure. up to on a weekend? Yeah. Right. 500 bucks yeah. times 500 weekends? So. Wherever you can kind of find ways to eliminate those things, and as you know, as you know, life gets more expensive as you get older. Mm -hmm. So if you can learn these things in your 20s, you know, by the time you're 30, by the time you're 40, by the time I'm 40, by the time you get here, you've saved up a good amount. Now you can go get whatever car you want. Yeah. Or Uber wherever you want. So the, the jury is out, though.